The Consolidated PBY Catalina, or Pig Boat, was one of the most versatile and effective multi-role aircraft of World War II. Although this flying amphibious aircraft did not sport the war face of a B-17 bomber, it paved the way to victory for the United States and its allies across the Pacific and every other major theater of the conflict. PBY Catalinas were primarily used for air-sea rescue operations, cargo transport, convoy bombing, and anti-submarine warfare. It's estimated that they destroyed over 40 enemy U-boats in the Atlantic and Pacific between 1941 and 1945, becoming the ultimate submarine hunter. Consolidated Aircraft Company Ruben Hollis' fleet went from being an aviation enthusiast to a real pilot during World War I. At 15, he attended the Culver Military Academy, where he wrote for the local newspaper. Then, after working as a teacher and realtor, Fleet joined the Washington National Guard. In 1917, he joined the aviation section of the Signal Corps of the U.S. Army, and upon graduating, he became the commanding officer of the 18th Aero Squadron. The following year, Fleet set up the first U.S. airmail between New York and Washington, D.C. This was the beginning of the aerial mail service. Fleet was eventually awarded the Distinguished Service Medal for his service in the aerial branch of the United States, and by 1922, he left the Army Air Service and joined Gallaudet Aircraft Company. He would then found his own company a year later by merging Gallaudet and Dayton Wright into the Consolidated Aircraft Corporation. One of Fleet's first moves was to hire aeronautical engineer Isaac Macklin Latin and future founder of Bell Aircraft Lawrence D. Bell to begin securing contracts with the Army for new aircraft designs. The company's first successful design came in 1924 with the PT-1 Trusty, a biplane trainer for the Army Air Service and the Navy. Profits skyrocketed for the company, to the point that the U.S. Congress targeted Fleet for earning excess profits on the PT-1 trainer. Fleet consequently provided the Army with over 50 trainers for one dollar to avoid refunding his profits. With this move, Consolidated Aircraft made a name for itself during the 1920s and 1930s, leading to the production of a successful series of flying boats. Getting ready. In 1933, the U.S. Navy requested the Douglas and Consolidated Aircraft Companies to develop a monoplane patrol aircraft with greater range and cargo capacity than the P-2Y and Martin P-3M. The Navy and the armed forces of the United States feared that tensions with Japan would eventually translate into an armed conflict, and they wanted to be ready. Japan had just invaded Manchuria and all of China, and the American possessions in the region, as well as its territorial ambitions, were at risk. The U.S. needed an aircraft capable of making its way through the Pacific on its own. Isaac Latin from Consolidated then decided to use the company's successful P-2Y sesquiplane flying boat as the foundation for his next creation. The result was an all-metal design simply dubbed Model 28. The model had a set of unique features that attracted the Navy. It included a parasol-mounted wing that incorporated internal bracing to reduce the need for external struts and retractable stabilizing floats that folded upward to become wingtips in flight. The two-step hull design was similar to the P2Y, but Model 28 had a unique cruciform tail unit as opposed to a strut-braced twin tail. This resulted in a better aerodynamic performance. Model 28 was powered by two Pratt & Whitney R183058 engines that generated over 830 horsepower each. Both were mounted midway on the wing leading edges. Armament included four 30 caliber Browning M2 machine guns and a bomb load capacity of up to 2,000 pounds of bombs. In addition, the aircraft could be manned by a crew of seven, but ten were ideal, and each aircraft was estimated to cost around $90,000. The design met all of the Navy's requirements, and a contract was awarded to Consolidated for the production of 60 aircraft. The Pig Boat Catalina In September of 1935, Fleet moved the company to San Diego, California, where testing of the prototypes took place. During its maiden flight, Model 28 flew a record 3,443-mile non-stop flight from Norfolk to San Diego. The aircraft was then delivered to the Navy for additional trials and dubbed XPBY-1 after a series of minor modifications to improve its effectiveness. In addition, the Navy requested to make it a patrol bomber. One of its main tweaks involved redesigned vertical tail surfaces that resolved inconsistencies with the tail submerging during takeoffs and the Pratt & Whitney R183058 engines were also upgraded to the more powerful R183064 engines, 
which provided 900 horsepower each. The new version then broke a Navy record when a PBY made a 2,381 mile flight from Panama to California in 34 hours at an average speed of 130 miles per hour. The first PBYs were delivered in October of 1936, and as the years went on, improved versions featured more powerful engines that produced better speeds and ranges. Licenses were granted to England, Canada, and the Soviet Union for the production of the aircraft. The British began calling it the PBY Catalina, while the Canadians named it the Canzo. Americans mockingly named it the Pig Boat. As 1941 approached, Consolidated Aircraft also became San Diego's largest employer, with over 25,000 active workers, a number that increased to more than 40,000 after the attack on Pearl Harbor. And as the U.S. participation in the war became inevitable, Fleet left the company and became President Roosevelt's private consultant. Operational History More than 3,300 PBY Catalinas were built during World War II. They were primarily used for patrol bombing, cargo transport, convoy escort, and especially for anti-submarine warfare and search and rescue missions. PBYs served in every front, but they truly shone in the Pacific Theater against the Japanese. The most used version was the PBY-5A. It featured two 30-caliber machine guns in the bow turret, one 50-caliber Browning MG in each waist blister, one 30-caliber MG in the ventral tunnel, and 4,000 pounds worth of ordnance, including depth charges, torpedoes, and bombs. Although they were slow at only 179 miles per hour, PBYs compensated with their versatility. Specially fitted Dumbo PBYs excelled at rescuing thousands of downed airmen and sailors scattered throughout the Atlantic and Pacific. And when there was no more room inside to fit sailors, the PBY would stay afloat like a lifeboat instead of taking off. The crewmen would then tie sailors to the wings and any part of the ship until more rescue ships arrived. This way, the wounded men were protected from shark attacks in the middle of the ocean. Combat PBYs were called cats by their crew. They scored the first PBY enemy aircraft kill on December 10, 1941, when the Japanese attacked the Cavite Navy Yard in the Philippines. Meanwhile, Patrol Squadron 101, composed of six Catalinas, was the first American unit to conduct an offensive against the Japanese when they bombed Jojo Island to disrupt supply lines. Royal Air Force Catalinas, flying from Northern Ireland, also spotted the German battleship Bismarck some 800 miles near the French port of Brest on May 26, 1941. Because of the sighting, the British Admiralty dispatched a task force of more than 20 ships to hunt down the so-called Hunter of the Seven Seas. The Catalinas were also responsible for spotting the Japanese enemy fleet prior to the Battle of Midway on June 4, 1942. The U.S. Navy PBYs were painted matte black for night operations against the Japanese during the American campaign of Guadalcanal. They conducted night torpedoing, bombing, and strafing operations against Imperial Navy warships and supply ships. The PBYs were so effective at these disruption operations on the Tokyo Express that special squadrons called Black Cats were created. Equipped with radar and magnetic anomaly detection, or MAD equipment, and flying in pitch black darkness, the Black Cats bombed hundreds of enemy vessels and destroyed Japanese installations scattered in the Pacific until their surrender in 1945. Ultimately, the PBYs paved the way for the Navy into the Sea of Japan and Japanese soil such as Iwo Jima and Okinawa. The Royal Australian Air Force also used its own Catalinas as night hunters. They dropped mines in Japanese-infested waters and shipping routes to inflict as much damage as possible in their supply lines. In cooperation with U.S. submarines, the Australian Catalinas lured enemy ships into deep waters, where they became easy prey. American and Australian PBYs also used terror bombs, which contained scrap metal, glass bottles with razor blades, and other materials that produced high-pitched sounds to disturb Japanese garrisons and keep them awake at night. All of these operations made it difficult for the Japanese to stay focused on the American offensive in the Philippines. Submarine Hunter The Consolidated Aircraft is credited for almost two-thirds of all submarines sunk by the Americans during World War II. PBYs were the most used aircraft for anti-submarine warfare in the Atlantic and the Pacific. Two British Victoria Crosses were awarded to Royal Air Force Catalina pilots for sinking German U-boats, Flying Officer John Cruikshank of the RAF and Canadian Lieutenant David Hornell. It has also been reported that 25 out of the 60 submarines sunk by the U.S. Navy during the war went down under bombs from PBYs. In addition, another 13 were destroyed by PB-4Ys, the Navy version of the B-24 Liberator. A Brazilian Catalina, 
is also credited with sinking a U-boat that was lurking in Brazilian waters. The PBY Catalina, Canzo, or Black Cat became history's most used military amphibious boat and can be appreciated in several aviation museums around the world. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels for more historical content about US history. And let us know in the comments below what you think about the multiple combat roles of the Catalinas during World War II.